Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'll be sharing with you some of the new things I got for the spring and summer. I have been collecting these items for about a month, a month and a half now, and I've just been saving them for this video, so I'm really excited to share them with you guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into the video. So, the first thing that I got is this Z palette. Um, it's the hologram one. And I went on the actual Z Palette website and they didn't have this. They had like a black and a blue and just kind of boring colors. So I ended up going on Amazon to get this bad boy. This is in the large size. They come in an extra large or smaller sizes if you would like. But I just got the large. I would have preferred the extra large, but this hologram um, pattern only came in the large. So I kind of just sucked it up and bought it. This was about $20, I think. I really wanted a Z palette and kind of start my own eyeshadow palette like just to be able to have my favorite shades in one palette was just kind of exciting to me so I know this palette's gonna hold a special place in my heart. I am going to be putting Makeup Geek eyeshadows in here but I did get some Coastal Scents Hot Pots in here but just for the purpose of this video I just went ahead and threw them in here just to show you guys. Rose are my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I have just the regular pans which retail for about $6. And then I have the foiled eyeshadows, which are about $10 each. I am very impressed with these foiled Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I didn't expect anything less, though. I've heard such great things about these. They are seriously so pretty. The formula is just amazing, and they are so just vibrant on your, on your face. So I just really am glad that I was able to pick up six of those. The first shade is In the Spotlight. This is just like a really pretty peachy kind of coral rose gold color. And I'm really excited to be using this for the springtime. The next foil eyeshadow I got is called Jester. And it's just like a really pretty navy green color. And this is one of my favorite colors in eyeshadow. I love those smoky green eye looks. So I kind of just felt like I needed this. It has like gold reflect in it, but it is still green. Then I went ahead and picked up the shade Houdini. I just felt like I needed this. Like, it's just so freaking pretty. Kind of navy seal blue color. I don't really know how to explain colors very well, but it's just like a really pretty blue. I went ahead and I got the shade Pegasus. And it's just like a really pretty turquoise color. And this is one of the shades that I went back and purchased or picked up after I'd gotten the two other ones. I just felt like I needed this in my life. I wanted to get a couple of the foiled eyeshadows that were a little bit more on the wearable side. So I got this shade Fortune Teller and this is just like a true yellow gold. And then the last foiled eyeshadow that I own from Makeup Geek is called Untamed. And it's just a really bronzy gold. This kind of looks like a penny, like I'm holding a little coin. I love these Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadows. I definitely will be collecting more of these, especially in my little customized Makeup Geek Z palette. Aside from the foiled eyeshadows, I went ahead and got a couple more matte shades. The first shade I got was Dragonfly. This looked a little bit more like a aqua. I know it is aqua, but it looked more like a mint green on line. So I was kind of disappointed when I got it, but it's a great formula and I will use this with a lot of different looks. So I like it regardless. I went ahead and picked up the shade Peach Smoothie, which is just like a very muted, skin-toned peachy color. I use this to set the concealer on my eyelids and use it to blend out other foundation. What? I'll use this to blend out other eyeshadows, so... Just like a really nice universal shade. I got the shade Desert Sands. I'm such a big fan of these brownish, kind of green, baby puke colors. <laughs> it's definitely one of the ones on my wish list that I did some research on and knew I just wanted. The shade I got was Chickity, and it's just this nice orange, kind of kind of subtle transition shade. I'm a really big fan of this shade in particular for the transitions, for my crease color. So I've already gotten a lot of use out of this and I've only had it for about a couple weeks. It's just been my go-to crease shade. I went ahead and picked up the shade Dirty Martini and it's just like a matte navy green. And I'm in love with this shade. I'm such a big fan of those green smoky eyes. I just stare at it all day. I just really love this color. This is another one of those shades that I had on my wish list and I knew I wanted to pick up. It is the shade Vintage, and it's just like a really deep purple mauve shade. I just love kind of like those grayish mauve tones, so I knew I just wanted to pick that up. Kind of matches my lips. 
And then the last shade I got is just like this really nice corally color and it is called Poppy. I'll use this a lot in the spring and summer just for like a nice pop of color in my crease area. And that'll be like my one pop of color. So if I wanted to just wear a very neutral eye and just kind of throw that in the crease area, I think it would be really pretty. So again, this is Poppy. Seriously in love with these Makeup Geek eyeshadows. And I plan to fill this entire Z palette with Makeup Geek eyeshadows eventually. I just have to make some more money first. Moving on to the right side of the palette. Um, I have these Coastal Scents Hot Pots. If you kind of follow Coastal Scents, they'll have... Um, like discount days or they'll have like sales here and there. So when they do have hot pot sales, I go ahead and jump on the website and pick up some some things I don't need obviously. I originally wanted this red shade just because I noticed I didn't really have a red in my collection. And you know when you go on a website for one thing and then you end up with like 5,000 things in your cart? That's kind of what happened. The first shade is called Orchid and it's just like this really pretty like lavender purple color. The next shade is called Vibrant Pink and that is exactly what it is. It's just like a really nice neon pink and I'm going to have fun playing around with this one. The red shade that I picked up that I originally went on the website for is called Pomegranate Red and I was kind of iffy on this red or like scorched red. I can't remember what other red I wanted but I ended up picking this one and it's perfect. It's just like a nice deep toned red. And then I don't really know when I'll be able to use this but this one is called bright yellow. It's just like a bright yellow. Maybe when I'm just feeling like a little flower eye or something. I don't know. It's just kind of nice to have if I'm ever in the mood to use this. And then the next shade is just like a lime green and it's called python green. And again, it's just like a nice lime green, it kind of matches that bright yellow I just showed you guys. But again, I just wanted something like this in my collection. The next shade I got is called Teal Green, and that is exactly what it is. It's just like a really nice teal blue green, and I really love it. Obviously, I love all of them because I bought them, but I gotta say it because I really do like this color. And then the last shade I got from Coastal Scents is called Prehistoric Green. And I have no other color in my collection like this. It's one of the only eyeshadows that I was praying that was really true to color from the picture on their website. And it was, so I'm really glad I got my hands on it. Colourpop was having a website sale, kind of a big sale, so I went ahead and jumped on. It took me about 25 minutes to even get through the website because so many people were on it trying to get good steals. But I ended up leaving with a lot of things. You know how I love my Ultra Metallic Super Shock shadows from them? So I went ahead and I got six I think I have here. First shade is just this really pretty royal purple color, but it has like a blue sheen to it. And this is called Dare. I have nothing like this in my collection, and I love the formula of these ultra metallic shadows, so I went ahead and got that. The next shade I got is just so freaking pretty. I love it so much. This is called Too Shy, and it's just this like really pretty ocean blue color. And it's so weird that this is called Too Shy because it's like you can't be shy when you're wearing this eyeshadow. Like, you just can't. You have to be bold, you have to be strong and confident when you wear this. So, I'm really excited to play around with that one. The next shade I got is called Rumor Has It Feather. And again, this is an ultra metallic super shock shadow. It's just like a really pretty grayish silver. Um, and it'll be really pretty for like a smoky eye or something. So, I figured I needed it. I always try to justify buying things. I'm like, oh, I have nothing like that, but it like matches the shade right next to it. But I'm like, no, they're completely different. So uh, the next shade I got is called Animal, and it's just like a really pretty corally shade, and it has like some sparkle reflex in it. You do have a tutorial coming up when I use this, so stay tuned for that. But the really funny thing about this eyeshadow in particular is it says not for eye area. Like what? I purchased this, it's an eyeshadow. And on the back of it, it says, not for eye area. But I've used it on my eyes and it hasn't irritated, or it hasn't, like, made my eyes fall out. So, I have no idea why it says that. But until it does some damage, I'm going to use it because I bought it. The shade I got is from Kathleen Lights, one of her collaborations with them. But this is just one of the individual shades. And this is called Telepathy. I know Baby Puke doesn't sound very pretty, but... Trust me, when this is on your eyelid, it's gonna look sick. The last shade I got is one of my favorites. Kind of reminds me of Houdini from Makeup Geek, one of their foiled eyeshadows. This is called Coconut, and it's just like a deep sea blue is kind of how I want to describe it. But, oh, could you just dive in that? 
Probably not, but don't you want to? Alrighty, so I also picked up some cream gel eyeliners from ColourPop. I got this really pretty lavender shade called Crybaby. And then this really pretty mint blue shade called Zulu. I'm really impressed with how these cream gel liners perform. I was kind of just expecting like a little pop of color that stays on for like an hour and then washes away in your waterline. Long wearing, very lasting, very creamy, easy to apply. I like them. And I could not go on the ColourPop website and not get some liquid lipsticks because I'm in love with liquid lipsticks. I actually featured these four shades in my liquid lipstick collection. You guys can check that out. I'll have it linked down below. But again, these are just the ones I got from the spring haul. So a repurchase midi. This is just like my go-to nude color and I was running out so I went ahead and picked up a new one. I went ahead and picked up this fuchsia shade called Mars. And you can tell these are the new packaging because, well, I can tell from my collection because a lot of my ColourPop liquid lipsticks have worn this little, this little silver strip has like worn off for a lot of them so you can tell it's like new. So yeah, this is just like a really pretty fuchsia shade. Went ahead and got the shade Ouija and yes, I hate that name but whatever, I like the color. It's just like this just like the perfect coral for summer especially on tanned skin so I'm gonna wear this when I'm more tan but I'm really excited to just like wear this and then the last shade is called Lumiere 2 seriously it's so pretty just like that go-to mauve shade that everybody's raving about we're looking for a liquid lipstick in this kind of mauve shade this one is amazing the final thing I got my hands on, I am so excited and I'm so lucky to be holding this in my hand right now. This is the Manny MUA and Makeup Geek Collaboration Eyeshadow Palette. I'm seriously so glad I got my hands on this because the first batch that they had, I was on the computer for like four hours trying to get this and I couldn't get through, the website kept crashing, um, and by the time that everybody like got through, I was just still waiting there. They ended up um, coming back and I randomly just was on the Makeup Geek website checking and it was in stock. And it's so funny because a couple hours later, Manny went on a Snapchat and he announced it. So then they sold out really fast after he announced it. So I got really lucky just randomly checking on the website to see if it was back. There's so many cute looks with this. I'm wearing all the shades on my eyes right now. Um, so yeah. Hey guys, that pretty much completes this collective haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm super excited to dig into all of my new goodies for spring and summer. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully I will see you soon. Bye!